Hello students. So now we are going to start uh, with a problem on simply supported beam. Okay. So we'll draw influence line diagram for simply supported beam. Here is a simply supported beam. Okay. So you can see a simply supported beam on which uh, one support is hinge and one is roller support. Right. Now, such beam is given. Now, we need to uh, draw influence line diagram for the support reactions. Okay, what are the reactions as support? So, we, have, we need to draw influence line diagram for the support reactions. That is for ILD for A, ILD for B. We also need to find out what is the shear force at C and we also, uh, what is the ILD for shear force at C. And we will also uh, calculate what is the ILD for moment at C. Okay. So we are going to uh, solve, calculate or draw, draw ILD for support reactions that is RA and RB then ILD for shear force at C then ILD for moment at C okay so how to draw ILD for support reaction shear force and moment now let us start with ILD for reaction at A okay support reaction at a how to solve how to uh, solve this so first see the beam carefully now our question is to find out influence line diagram first at the support we will calculate and then we have a c point it's some reference point okay it's some reference point now let us calculate what is the support reaction i will for support reaction so we have to assume okay initially we are assuming that our unit load is acting in between the a and c okay unit load is acting and it is acting at a distance of x from a okay so we are seeing that unit load is here at a distance of x whereas a distance between a and c is z okay this is some distance z and total span of the beam is l now a very simple thing how do we calculate reaction at support so we consider summation of forces in y direction okay equilibrium equation and the other thing is we consider moment about any one support okay now when we want that we have to calculate ILD for support reaction at A means let us consider moment about B okay so let us consider moment about support B so here moment about support B. So let us write the equation how we will write. But in this condition we have we are, remember that the case that when uh, this one is we have considered between A and C. Okay. So when we write equation that is moment about support B. So we will write RA load into perpendicular distance. Okay. This is RA. RA into perpendicular distance so ra into l okay and then udl so 1 into this distance remaining distance so what is that distance that distance is nothing but total span minus x so 1 into l minus x okay so this completes our moment about b equal to 0 so when you solve this we get it ra equals to l minus x by l so when we simplify we get 1 minus x by l. So this is actually uh, we are getting a linear variation with x. Okay. So means whatever bending moment or uh, whatever ILD will draw uh, will get a linear variation. Now this x is varying. x is varying from 0 to l. Okay. x is varying from 0 to l. So this is important equation. Okay. Arriving at this point is important. Now once we get what is R A. Then simply substitute that when x equal to 0, so when you substitute x equal to 0, then Ra we will get it as 1. And when you substitute x equal to L, okay, then 
1 minus L by L becomes 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, okay. So, we will get R equal to 0. Now, once you get this, simply plot these values, okay. So, let us plot. So, what is it? When X equal to L, R is, uh, uh, our answer is 0, right. Influence line diagram at this point is 0, this value. And when R A uh, X equal to 0 means at this point, when X is 0, we are getting 1 value. Okay, so simply plot this triangle and this becomes your influence line diagram for RA. Okay, now the similar procedure we will apply to calculate reactions at B. So, now when we have to calculate what is RB, then let us consider moment about A. So, here is the diagram. Okay, so same beam I have uh, copied here. Now here let us consider because we want to find out what is the reaction at B. So you simply consider moment about support A. Okay. So when we want to calculate what is moment about A, then our equation will be RB, RB into L. Okay. RB into L equals to 1 into X. Okay. So this is the equation RB into L equals to X into 1. So we get RB is equal to X by L. Okay. And this x is varying from 0 to L. Now, simply substitute when x is equal to 0, Rb will become 0. When x is equal to L, Rb is 1. Okay, so simply plot this value. When x is equal to 0, this is 0. When x is equal to L, Rb is equal to 1. So, this completes our influence line di diagram for Rb. Okay, support reaction at B. Now, let us move towards the influence line diagram for shear force at C. Okay, so we have to calculate what is the shear force at C. Okay, so to calculate shear force here, we are, we have to consider two cases that initially we will consider that unit load is in between the support and C. Okay, and then unit load will be at this place. So, how we are going to consider that? So, we are considering that when x is less than z, okay, z is the distance between support and c, when x is less than z, okay, and when x is greater than z. So, these two cases we are going to see and uh, with these cases, what is that shear force we are getting? Remember, we are calculating shear force at point c, okay. So, remember what is that we want to find out. Now, let us consider the first case. So, where x is less than z, okay. So, what will be our shear force? So, when this is the section to calculate shear force at C, simply see what are the loads available. So, okay. So, you can see that the support reaction Ra going up and the unit load is going down, okay. So, simply write Ra minus 1, okay. Now, what is Ra? Ra is our support reaction it is 1 minus x by l okay we have calculated in the previous uh, you can see here ra is equal to 1 minus x by l okay so simply write that ra uh, 1 minus x by l minus 1 okay shear force at this point this is going up this is going down so we have written that equation now uh, 1 minus x by l minus 1 okay so this is equal to so here you can see that 1 and 1 Okay, 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So, we are left with minus x by l. Okay, this is our answer. Now, x. x is varying from, for this particular thing, x is varying from 0 to z. Okay. Now, in this equation, simply substitute when x is equal to 0, shear force at c is 0. When x equal to z, the shear force at c is minus z by l. Okay. So, we are done with this part. Now, let us see when our x is in uh, x is more than z okay so in this case what is the shear force at c so do not worry at all again our section is c only just see what are the forces at this point one anyway one went this uh, that side so don't bother about it simply consider what are the loads available here so shear force at c is nothing but r a only there is only one reaction so, simply write down R is equal to nothing but 1 minus X by L. So, now that X is varying from Z to L. Okay, till this point it is Z and to L. So, simply substitute here. Now, X is equal to Z. 
so what it will be it will give us shear force at c is 1 minus z by l okay simply this x will be replaced by z and when x equal to l our shear force will be when i apply i put it l here so l by l will get cancelled so 1 minus 1 will be 0 so i am getting 0 here now just plot all these points okay so when x is equal to 0 shear force is 0 when x equal to z shear force is minus z by l when x equal to z again shear force is 1 minus z by l and when uh, x equal to l shear force is uh, c is uh, 0 okay so this is our shear force diagram okay and this we got it as this value is negative so it went down this value is positive so it went up so this is our ild for shear force at c okay so hope this is clear to you now let's move towards the moment okay how to calculate the moment so ild for moment at point c again the same procedure okay but here we will be considering moment so now there are again this uh, when first case that when x is less than z means x is in this portion so what is the moment at this point so let us write the equation moment at c is equal to r a into z okay this is the z distance so let us write r a into z then consider unit load also because unit load acting in this case minus 1 into this distance right perpendicular distance that is z minus x so write down 1 minus 1 into z minus x so when you simplify it you arrive at this equation okay so ra when we substitute 1 minus x by l into z so when you open the bracket minus z minus minus will become plus x then again z this is minus x into z by l minus z plus x then z uh, z z will get cancelled then minus z x by l plus x okay so this is the final value we are getting now when x is equal to 0 so x is varying from 0 to z so when x is equal to 0 moment at c is equal to 0 right when you substitute 0 here you will get it 0 now when x equal to z you are getting z square by l plus z when you simplify it we get it as z minus z square by l so finally we get it as z into l minus z by l okay so this is the value we are getting now let us see the next case that when x is greater than z okay so in this case when x is greater than z again simply consider one part okay so consider moment about the uh, c at this portion only so r a into z okay r a into anyways our initial uh, expression will be r a into x so moment at c that is 1 minus x by l into x we have simply substituted r a value here now x value is between z to l so when x equal to z substitute here as z so when you substitute we get it as z into l minus z by l and when x equal to l we get 0 so now plot these bending moment values here so bending moment when x equal to 0 moment is 0 then here also it is 0 and in the middle we are getting bending moment as uh, influence line uh, that ordinate we are getting as z into l minus z by l okay so this way it's uh, very easy just that we need to uh, remember the procedure okay the basics of shear force and bending moment diagram if we know then uh, it's very easy to solve such question okay so students hope uh, you understood this uh, how to calculate influence line diagram for support reactions R A, R B, then influence line diagram for shear force at C, then influence line diagram for moment at C. Okay, thanks for listening. Thank you.